At this hour, we continue to work breaking news on a house fire in Woonsocket. Investigators are releasing a lot more information about this heavy fire that claimed the life of a man living there. New at 8.30, we're learning firefighters were called to that same home just a few days ago. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright spoke with officials around a half hour ago. She joins us now live with the new details. Crews are still on the scene of this tragic fire that police say left a 66-year-old man dead and nine people displaced. Now that the fire is out, investigators are going inside the home to try to figure out where and how it started. Woonsocket police say Gennario John DeLuca was pronounced dead at the hospital after firefighters carried his body out of this triple-decker on Logie Street. Police say 10 people, including DeLuca, were inside when the fire broke out around 5.15 this morning. All except DeLuca managed to escape, some rushing out through the fire escape. Officials say at one point, at one point, firefighters were trapped inside the home because there was too much smoke and they couldn't see the staircase. Eventually, they made it out okay. Firefighters say there was another fire at this very home a few days ago, but they haven't said whether it's suspicious or whether it had, it had anything to do with this fire. And right now, one cat is in critical condition. And police initially told us that one dog was killed in this fire, but just moments ago, ago firefighters brought it out alive and reunited it with its family. It's one of the only bright spots in this tragic fire that again has killed a man and left nine people displaced. The Red Cross is now working to help those people find a place to live. Live in Woonsocket with the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.